Greetings to whomever it may concern, as I, the voice you hear right now, am going to review an abstract movie from last year. This movie is called Oh Dear. The leading role is a man named Hugh Edwards, played by Hugh Edwards. This movie was created by the BBC and published on live TV on June 20, 2017. Welcome to, Clap, Film, Clap, Review, Clap. As an art piece, this movie is actually very conceptual. It highlights the relationship between information that we normally conceive of as news, and the social structures, rituals, and technology used to deliver it. The video opens with a BBC countdown to the normal news, which functions to focus the viewer, then suddenly it breaks away to a graphic in bold reds, with the words breaking news. The breakaway starts again and again, yet in sharp contrast, no news slash meaningful information is conveyed. The video then breaks away to a beautifully designed, world-class news studio with a very serious-looking, professional gentleman in his late middle age, wearing a tastefully designed suit with colors well chosen for his complexion, hair color, and studio colors. We see the man sitting, waiting patiently for, what? Something to happen? Some news to be collated and processed, prepared for the viewer? Is he digesting the implications of some news he has already heard? Occasionally we see breakaways to well-designed and edited graphics, which function to convey a sense of import, but with the precise meaning or significance stripped away, or made superfluous. There is a headshot of a well-dressed middle-aged man, with symbols of some EU organization placed in the background, a shot of a slow funeral procession, the exact significance of which remains obscure. We get subtle reminders of the power and capabilities of the technology, as the camera operator zooms, pans, and subtly experiments with the view of the man in the center of the image. These are all reminders that content itself, in the modern world, is or may be rendered, superfluous. There is a sense of calmness and prepared to begin, ness in the studio, and in the people in the background, but no sense of panic or urgency. There is a sense, instead, of being very focused, prepared, aware. It conveys the idea that even the nothingness of no news, is content in and of itself, analogous to the idea in quantum physics that even empty space has fluctuations in density, and subatomic particles wink in and out of existence all the time. The real triumph of this work is when the man begins to speak at the end. We hear him Tonight begin to, 10, to talk at length about some aspect of Brexit, similar Brexit to the countless deal, news stores about like the implications of Brexit we've heard Tonight over 10, the past year, uh, and, and instantly the viewer is turned in off. Brexit deal, or rather, like in the viewer's deal. mind, the news, now that we finally start to know what it is, is converted to filler, something added at the end to shore up the four minutes of pure form we've seen up until this point. Form and content are brilliantly reversed in an instant. This is perhaps one of the most wonderful works of conceptual art ever produced by the BBC. It's reminiscent of Warhol, without the tedium and excessive length, and really makes the viewer think about the relationship between the news and the media, does the media serve to deliver the news, or is the news something that is spontaneously generated when all the elements of the media are brought together in concert? A wonderful work. This really deserves to be an entry in one of the larger international film festivals. Overall, I give this film 5 stars, 10 tenths rating, and 3 thumbs up. Thanks to B.W. Hall for leaving this comment and inspiring me to make this video. And as always, Dear viewers, thanks for not watching PewDiePie. It is now safe to stop watching this video. Breaks it.